Joining us from Doha in Qatar is the uh, CEO of the, of the foremost athletics management organization in Nigeria. Uh, incidentally, his team has uh, two athletes representing Nigeria. They're making of champions, MOC, Bambo Akoni. Glad to have you join us again, Bambo. Solomon, thanks for having me as always. Yeah, what's the atmosphere in Doha this morning for the World Championships? Well, the atmosphere here is one of expectation. Everybody is looking forward to a great show. Um, as you mentioned, it's the first uh, World Championships in a decade without Usain Bolt. Um, and really, um, I think everyone in the IWF is looking for who's going to step into those shoes as the new golden boy of athletics. Um, so, you know, we are in for some great shows. Um, Coleman in the 100 meters going against Gatlin and Noah Lyles in the 200 meters. And, you know, there could be a couple of world records broken. Everyone's looking at primarily the 400 meter hurdles, both the men and women as events where records could go. So there is definitely an air of expectation here in Doha. Now, the at athletics is the focal point of the Olympics. Why is this championship this important when in the Olympics it's the real deal? Uh, why? Well, these championships are the, obviously, World Athletics Championships um, happening every two years. So it's obviously very, very important. Um, it is the World Cup for athletics. You know, it is the biennial showpiece where all the athletes in the world get to converge every two years to find out who is the best. Um, obviously, the Olympics is the pinnacle in terms of uh, global importance and viewership. But, you know, there's nothing really um, after the Olympics and the World Cup in terms of viewership. It's the IWF World Championships. Now, for the first time in many years without Usain Bolt, who do you tip to step out of his shadow and into his shoes? Christian Coleman, Divine Ududuru, Justin Gatlin, or Noah Miles, or any of the guys, any of the 20 guys in the top 10, uh, any of the guys who have run top 10 this year? Well, I mean, I think um, in the 100 meters, it would look like it's uh, Christian Coleman's um, uh, title to lose uh, based on form this year. But in terms of impact, um, Noah Lyles looks to be in great shape for the 200 meters. He's already run 19.5 this season. And he's talking about breaking Usain Bolt's records. Um, do I think he'll get the 200 meter world record in this championship? Probably not. But, you know, never say never. I mean, he probably will get close to it. Um, so it will be really interesting to see how that goes. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the Bambo Arconi there. Um, well, so much in the world of sports now.